Hi guys, <laughs> today I am going to be attempting straight hair, no heat. Let's go. It's Lana here, welcome back to Lana Summer Summer Time. In today's video, I am going to be doing something so exciting. A while ago, back like last November, I used wave formers for the first time and I loved them. I think you guys love them as well. It's one of my favourite looks I've ever done. And I remember at the time, I was getting questions like, did I use heat on my hair? And after a few days, they kind of fell out and my hair started to look a bit straight. And I remember I had to keep being like, oh, don't worry, I haven't used heat on my hair, it's just wave formers and the curls dropped out. And then I started thinking, is there a way that you could straighten your hair using a wave former? And I also did a quick YouTube and a quick Google to see if anyone else had tried this before and I found some videos by Viv Hair Therapy, her name's Vivian, and she actually tried this. She tried it on one wave former and I will link her video down below so you guys can check that out. Let's go. We're making straight formers today. Ah! The first challenge that I had was deciding whether to use my waveformers for this or to get some new ones because I love the waveformers and I didn't want to like risk ruining them or risk changing them and never getting them to go back. So I decided to keep my waveformers as they are so that I can always use them. And I went and bought a whole new batch of waveformers. I will also link where I bought those waveformers down below as well because I know that you guys were struggling to buy the waveformers that I bought before. You're not actually supposed to call them wave formers because cold formers will get angry with you. Let's call them wave makers, water wavers. So this is how they came and that's what they look like. Very, very wavy, very curly. How do you get this to become a straight former? It's actually very easy and I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. They're made from a very, very soft plastic and going back to my design technology days in school, DT lessons, I remembered that you can thermoform plastic, meaning you can shape it when you apply heat to it. That could be with a hairdryer or something like that, but that was gonna take a really long time. And actually I saw a clip from Viv Hair Therapy's video where she put it in boiling water. She also used a chopstick to make it really straight. That's how I came up with these creations. So I held the chopstick up against the waveformer and I pinned it in place with these clothes pegs. At first I was kind of only pinning it down wherever there was a ridge, but then I noticed when I did that it was kind of making bubbles and little bumps elsewhere. So I ended up just pinning all the way down so that it's almost as absolutely straight as I can get it. And then when it was like this, I put everything into a tub and I poured boiling water onto it because we need the water to completely cover this. So I laid them flat like this and I had four in a row and each one of these has got three three waveformers in it because we're all about efficiency over here. It did take me a couple of hours so let's have a look at this one and see how it came out. There are still some curly bits like this one. I think it's not going to be a big deal. Oh it's in my face. I got some straight formers yeah! and I have a lot. I have a lot of these. I did maybe about 40 of them. Some are better than others. Some of them still have this wavy down here. I was finding it really difficult to get it out by the end, but some of them are super straight like this. Let's get started. So I've never done this before. So I guess I'm just gonna try and do it the same way that I do wave formers. I'm gonna use my trusty Smooth and Hold Pudding by ORS. This is a godsend, honestly. This gets my hair smooth smooth, shiny, it holds the style. I love this and I will link it in the description box down below so that you guys can try it. If you're not using this then your results are gonna look different, they're probably gonna look good but different. Not as good maybe. Oh I don't even know how it's gonna look. I'm getting ahead of myself. You are gonna need your straight formers, you're gonna need a brush, you're gonna need your products and I'm also using some bobby pins as well and let's not forget the hook that comes with the package of straight formers. You need that hook. I'm gonna separate my hair so I'm gonna take some of this and I'm gonna put that all through my hair. Oh, and I also have some leave-in conditioner in my hair already. I can't believe I almost forgot to say that. I also wanna be completely transparent with you guys. As long as everything goes to plan, then you can do this completely heatlessly. It's gonna take a long time to dry, so I'm probably gonna use a soft bonnet attachment to dry my hair, which means a little bit of heat. So I'm gonna use some heat defense spray. This one's by Tresemme. It's not my favorite one, it's just the one that I have, but I will link it down below just in case you're wondering. And I'm just gonna finish that off with a little bit of oil because I don't want my hair 
hair to look dry or frizzy. So this is the Aveda Nutriplenish Multi-Use Hair Oil. So let's lock all of that product in. It's best to start on wet hair because when it dries, it will hold the shape that it was drying in. Okay, so I'm gonna section my hair. I'm gonna brush my hair out, make sure there's no tangles in there, make sure it's completely smooth. Put this in like this. I can already kind of feel there's not that much friction on it, so it really might not work as well as we hope. So I like to have my hook facing outwards like this so that I can easily get it all in. You hold on to this end and you pull your hair through it like that. Oh no, it's not long enough. Oh, and my hair's not straight at the end. Uh... Cut the cameras. Dead end. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, and I'm actually gonna, I guess I'm gonna pull it down so that it catches all of my hair until the ends. Oh no, that's really far down. Oh, I can really see that it's not straight inside. It's not straight inside, then it's not gonna be straight when we're done. So that's a bit of an issue. It's just, I feel there's just not enough tension on it maybe. So it's really not holding my hair completely straight. Okay, so for my next couple, I'm just gonna try and make the sections a bit thicker than this and see if that kind of increases the tension and makes my hair stay a bit straighter. So just a bit more hair. See, when you're doing this, if you feel any sort of pullback or snagging, then it means something has gone wrong and you should stop. It really should not snag. It should just come through really easily. Okay, like that. Oh, but my hair is too long. Okay, so I've decided that I'm gonna do it from the top so that we have a nice result from the top, hopefully. And if we do like it, then I will go back in and I will spray the ends down and I will do this again on the ends. But if your hair is not this long, then you won't have to worry about this at all. It's just me making extra work for myself because I decided to have my hair too long. Like, ooh, I mean, it's really not looking too straight in there. It's looking wavy at best. How do I get it to? See what I mean? What is that? Oh, just pull it. Just pull it and it's good. Just pull it. And for these back ones, it's going to be the exact same process. Tragic. And I've also got this new technique of kind of twisting it because where I am taking bigger sections It's getting more and more likely that it's not all going to fit inside the hook which then causes snags So if we just kind of twist it Then it should all fit inside the hook Okay, so I've got maybe just two or three left to do it's starting to dry out a little bit So I am just gonna put a little bit of water on this so that we can make sure we're still getting good results Hopefully it's still fingers crossed Okay, and what I did on this side is I just added a few little hair slides. Should hopefully stop them from sliding down. My fingers are crossed so tightly that this works. I really, really hope that it works. I can already see it's not gonna be as perfect as if you straightened your hair, but I think it could be pretty good and still be a cute look. These dry really fast, unlike rags or braids or twists where you kind of have to wait overnight, sometimes even two days for it to dry completely. These will be dry naturally within just a few hours. They really don't take long at all. Um, and then just a little while with the soft bonnet hood. Okay, so I'm just waiting for my hair to dry right now and I thought now would be a good time to talk about today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. So Skillshare is an online learning platform with thousands of classes ranging from photography, business management, hair care, and I've personally been using it for languages and illustration. Oh my gosh, I did the best little illustration class the other day. Anyway, I thought you guys would be interested in it because you're watching this video, we did a bit of a DIY and we've got a little bit crafty here. So if you guys like learning, then I 
I know that you're going to love Skillshare. I honestly think that learning is the best gift that we can give and the best gift that we can receive. So I am absolutely delighted to be able to offer you a little gift today. If you are one of the first 500 people to click the link in the description box, then you will receive a full two months premium membership with Skillshare for free, completely free. So I definitely encourage you guys to check it out. And if you don't make it in time, then don't worry because Skillshare is available for as little as $10 a month. Okay, so that was about 20 minutes or so with that on. And I've had maybe about an hour to dry naturally. But because I am using bigger sections, I think that's why they're taking longer to dry. Only 23 straight formers are in my hair right now. That's almost half of how many waveformers I had in my hair, yeah. It's gonna take a while to dry, I think. Okay, so I'm back again. And I've also used the soft bonnet hood for about 15 minutes more. This does not work if your hair is not completely dry when you take them out. So it's really, really important. Start from uh, the ones I did first. It's not really straight. I mean, it's not curly like my natural hair, but it's not really straight either. Okay, that's very stretched, but it's not straight. Let's try some more. Very stretched, but not really straight. I'm sad. Stretched, but not straight. Oh. Again, stretched, but not straight. Oh, this is sad. You know, there are a few pieces that are actually straight. Like the ends there are kind of straight and there's a few that are a bit straighter than others, but overall it didn't really work. <laughs> that is dry though, at least. So that means we can take the rest out. The mood in the room right now is so different to when I took the waveformers out. When I took the waveformers out for the first time, I was so surprised, so pleasantly surprised and so happy because it looks so good. Whereas this time it's kind of a letdown. See, that's very stretched. That's very, very stretched compared to my natural hair. And these have got these curls at the end that look so funny. Let me have some like this, which didn't really work. This section right here is actually really straight, but it's just, it was so hard to keep that tension running the whole way through. I mean, look at that. We've got a whole stretch right there, which is basically straight. It ain't enough. Okay, so I'm gonna be really careful touching my hair right now because I don't want it to frizz up at all. So I'm not gonna try and separate these pieces too much. Maybe just a little bit. Can't really see in this mirror though. Okay, so that's my first attempt at straight formers. Obviously the hair's not completely straight, but it's definitely not my natural curl pattern. We definitely did something. I do feel like it's kind of wearable. I feel a little bit like 90s Cher or something. Maybe it's looking a bit like a crimped style. Do you know what this kind of looks like when I used to straighten my hair and then I got rained on? That's what this looks like. I don't think I'm gonna do anything with these ends because honestly, I don't mind them looking like that too much considering that the rest of the look is isn't straight either and I don't want to put any straighteners on my hair or anything like that. What I will say is that I think this would be a great addition to any straightening routine especially if you have hair curlier than mine because it's really going to knock off a lot of that heat that you have to use. So say if you do blow drying and then straightening you could skip the blow drying step and just do this and leave it to air dry and then go in with a straightener and finish it off. I think you're going to have some amazing results if you do that. However I'm not going to finish off my hair with a straightener today. Do you know what? This is okay. I think if I dress this up, I'll put on some false eyelashes and we're gonna call it a look. You've got to have self-confidence. Ta-da! I know you belong to is my heatless straight hair. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video, even if the result wasn't exactly as we hoped. It was still a fun experiment and I had fun making this video and I've learned a lot and I'm still hopeful that we can turn this into something that really works. 
next time. Yeah, leave me a comment down below. Tell me, is there something that you would wear? Do you like this look? Was it worth it? Did I waste my time? Yeah, I want to hear from you guys. So yeah, that's everything from me. If you've been binge watching my videos and if you've ever learned anything from one of my videos, then please hit subscribe. Also get me on Instagram for all of the highs and the lows because I put it all on there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Yeah.